All right, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the first worksheet that you guys have on wavelength, frequency, and energy equations. Reminder that the answers to these were at the bottom of the worksheet um, so that you could check yourself as you were going. So starting at the very top, the equation that relates frequency and wavelength is C equals lambda nu. The speed of light is equal to the wavelength of any wave multiplied by its frequency. The equation that relates energy and frequency is E equals H nu, where the energy of a wave is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency of that wave. Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. And the speed of light, C, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. You will be given this information on a quiz. You'll be given the two constants. You'll be given the two equations. You just need to know how to use them. Number one, violet light has a wavelength of 4.1 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. What is the frequency? Let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit. There we go. So I am given my wavelength of 4.10 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. They're asking me for the frequency. So I need an equation that relates those two things. C equals lambda nu. I'm gonna substitute in what I know, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second is equal to that frequency, I'm sorry, that wavelength, 4.10 times 10 to the negative seventh meters multiplied by the frequency. To solve that equation, I'm going to divide by that number on both sides to get that new, that frequency by itself. Remember that when you are putting these into the calculator, you must use that E button. Um, I will know when you do not. So I'm going to put that into the calculator as... Two point nine nine eight E eight divided by four point one E negative seven, giving me an answer of seven point three one two times ten to the fourteenth. I'm looking for a frequency, so it better be coming out in hertz, and it should, as long as my meters and meters go away per second or second to the negative one or hertz is what I am left with. And that is my answer. Number two, green light has a frequency of 6.01 times 10 to the 14th hertz. What is the wavelength? So given my frequency, 6.01 times 10 to the 14th hertz, wavelength is what I'm looking for. So I need an equation that relates those two variables. Again, it is C equals lambda nu. My C is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. My wavelength is what I am trying to determine. My frequency, 6.01 times 10 to the 14th hertz. To solve for that, you are gonna divide by that 6.01 times 10 to the 14th hertz on each side meaning it will go away on the right. And then we're gonna plug that into our calculator using our favorite button, that E button. God, this lighting is bad. So I am gonna do 2.998 E8 divided by 6.01 E14. And that is gonna give me 4.998 times 10 to the negative seventh. And to determine our units, my per second on the top and my hertz or second to the negative one on the bottom is gonna go away, leaving me with meters, which does make sense because it is a wavelength that I am looking for. In number three, what is the wavelength in meters of the electromagnetic carrier wave transmitted by the sports fan radio station with a frequency of 640 kilohertz? 
So it looks like I'm looking for the wavelength of a radio wave here, which is fine because all the same rules still apply. All electromagnetic waves follow these rules, not just light waves. So what am I given here? I am given a frequency of 640 kilohertz. I am looking for a wavelength. I need an equation that relates those two things. C equals lambda nu. Speed of light is the speed of all electromagnetic waves. So it doesn't matter that it's a radio wave and not light. Wavelength is what I'm looking for. Frequency is what I need. But I've got an issue here. This is in kilohertz, not hertz. So I'm going to convert that. 640 kilohertz multiplied by some fraction with kilohertz on the bottom, hertz on top. If you don't remember, you can look it up, but kilo always means a thousand. There are a thousand meters in a kilometer or a kilometer. Um, there are a thousand liters in a kiloliter. There are a thousand grams in a kilogram. There are a thousand hertz in a kilohertz, meaning my frequency is going to come out to be 640,000 hertz. So that is what I am going to plug in here. Because in order for that per second to cross out, I need this to be in hertz. The math would not work if it was in kilohertz. So I divide by that frequency on both sides, meaning it will cross out on the right. On the left, I'm going to put that into my calculator using my E button, 2.998 E8 divided by 640,000. And that gives me an answer of 468.438. 468.438. My hertz and my seconds to the negative one or per second go away, leaving me with meters, which is what they asked me for. And this is much larger than my other wavelengths that I've been looking at, but that is because it is a radio wave. Radio waves are the longest type of waves. So 468 meters is like 1,200 feet. That's really, really long. It's like four and a half football fields, but that's how long radio waves are. So that is my answer. Number four, calculate the wavelength of radiation with a frequency of 8.0 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So they give me a frequency to work with. It's in hertz, which is what I want. They're asking me for a wavelength. You guys should be professionals by now. C equals lambda nu is the equation I'm using. Substitute in my speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Looking for wavelength, given frequency, 8.0 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And then solve that, which means we're going to divide on both sides. It's going to go into my calculator using my E button so that my math works out the way that it is supposed to. 2.998 E8 divided by 8.0 E14. Three point seven four seven five times 10 to the negative seventh or 3.748. times 10 to the negative seventh is my wavelength. And if everything works out appropriately, my per seconds and my hertz are gonna go away, leaving me with meters, which makes sense because it is a wavelength that I am looking for. On the back of this worksheet, calculate the energy of a photon of radiation with a frequency of 8.5 times 10 to, the 10 to the positive 14th hertz, I'm sorry. Um, that word photon you have not heard yet, but it's basically a bundle of light energy, and we're going to learn all about it later on. It doesn't change anything about the problem. So here they're telling me that I have a frequency of 8.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. They're asking me for an energy, which means I need an equation that relates energy and frequency. So E equals H nu. My energy is equal to Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th, mm, sorry, joules seconds, multiplied by the frequency they gave me, 8.5 times 10 to the 14th 
hertz. And then that just gets plugged into your calculator. Again, always using the E button. So 6.626E negative 34 times 8.5E 14. 5.632 times 10 to the negative 19th. In this case, our hertz, which is seconds to the negative one, and our seconds to the positive one are going to go away, leaving me only with joules, which makes sense because joules is a unit of energy. Number six, calculate the energy of a gamma ray photon whose frequency is 5.02 times 10 to the 20th hertz. So they give me a frequency again, 5.02 times 10 to the 20th hertz. Again, they're looking for an energy. So same type of situation, same equation. E equals H nu. Substitute in some numbers. H Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds, multiplied by 5.02 times 10 to the 20th hertz. Once you've substituted your numbers, plug them into your calculator. 6.626 E negative 34, multiplied by 5.02 E 20, 3.326 times 10 to the negative 13. Again, hertz and seconds cross out when they're multiplied, leaving us with joules, the SI unit of energy. Number seven, calculate the energy of a photon of radiation. Again, that word photon changes nothing. With a wavelength of 6.4 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. So I've got a wavelength here. That's what they're giving me. They're asking for the energy. I don't have a single equation that relates wavelength to energy. The only way to find energy is with frequency. But luckily, I do have an equation that will allow me to find frequency using wavelength. So I'm going to start with C equals lambda nu, where I plug in 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second as my speed of light. I'm going to plug in the wavelength that they gave me, 6.4 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. And I'm going to use that to solve for my frequency here. So I divide by 6.4 times 10 to the negative 7th meters on both sides. Causing it to go away on the left. I'm sorry, on the right. On the left, I'm going to plug that into my calculator, 2.998. E8 divided by 6.4 E negative 7, which gives me a frequency of 4.684 times 10 to the 14th. It's a frequency, so it should come out in hertz. Meters goes away, meters goes away. I've got per second or second to the negative one or hertz, which makes sense. Now that I've got a frequency, I can use it to find an energy using my second equation, E equals H nu, where the energy of this wave is equal to Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds, multiplied by the frequency that I just found, 6.684 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And I plug that into my calculator using that E button, 6.626 E negative 34 multiplied by 6.684 E 14. And that means the energy that this wave has is 4.28. I'm sorry, 4.4. I round correctly. 4.429 times 10 to the negative 19th. My unit here is going to be joules. Hertz and seconds are going to cross out when they're multiplied, leaving us only with joules. That is my answer. And number eight, a very similar problem. 
What is the energy of light whose wavelength is 4.06 times 10 to the negative 11th meters? They give me a wavelength. They're looking for an energy. There's no direct path there. So I'm going to use C equals lambda nu to solve for frequency so that I can use that frequency to solve for energy. Divide by wavelength on both sides. On the right side, it's going to cross out, leaving me only with frequency. On the left, I am going to plug that into my calculator, 2.998. E8 divided by 4.06 E negative 11, giving me a frequency of 7.384 times 10 to the 18th. Our meters and meters go away here, leaving us with per seconds or hertz. If your wavelength is in meters and your speed of light is meters per second, your frequency is always going to come out to be in hertz. And then I'm going to use my newfound frequency to solve for energy. The energy of this wave is equal to Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds, multiplied by the frequency I just found. Running out of space. But I'm going to plug that into my calculator. 626 E negative 34 times 7.384 E 18, meaning the energy of this wave is 4.893 times 10 to the negative 15th. It's energy, so it should come out to be in joules, which we see if we cross out our hertz and we cross out our seconds, joules is the only unit left. And that is my answer. Hopefully that helps. Um, and when you go to do the second worksheet, you will be um, in a better position than you were in the first.